Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dave with Evil Eye Games. In today's video, I want to talk about using blueprints versus using C++, when to use it, and what are the advantages of using either one. So starting off with blueprints, the biggest advantage is that it's incredibly easy to read. It's a visual scripting language, so we actually see connections between different bubbles on the screen and how they connect together which is much different than C++ where it is a text-based language and we have to actually type out commands and read it like a script. Blueprints also makes it very quick to implement new ideas. So if you have an idea of what you want to do and you want to experiment on how to put it together, Blueprints makes it really easy to kind of plug things together rather quickly and without having a great deal of knowledge on coding. And speaking of not having a great knowledge of coding in there, Blueprints has a lot of safety features involved with it. When you're using Blueprints, Blueprints doesn't actually give you full access to everything the engine has to offer. The programmers for UE4 kind of created a bubble within Blueprints that you can work within. And this bubble kind of prevents you from going outside of certain areas and doing things that can create problems when you're programming. So by keeping the designer contained within the blueprints and not giving you full access to everything, it kind of makes it so that you as a designer can't screw things up all that bad. Blueprints also does a lot of work for you. There's a lot of built-in functions and functionality that will actually take care of a lot of things in the background for you. So it makes implementing ideas a lot easier. And the biggest takeaway is that Blueprints for the most part is fast enough for just about everything. Now this really changes depending on the situation that you're in. The larger a game gets and the more complex the game gets, it's gonna be advantageous to have a faster processing system in the background than what Blueprints can offer. So as games get larger and larger, Blueprints actually has a certain amount of headroom with it in order to give that safety and that functionality that's easy to use. But if you're just making games as a hobby or learning how to put together games, Blueprints for the most part is gonna be fast enough for just about anything you're gonna to need to do. C++ on the other hand gives you the advantage of being more efficient. Blueprints is actually built on top of C++. And so in order to give the designers tools within Blueprints, they had to add in additional code. And sometimes the additional code just ends up being bloat and it adds a lot of headroom on what we're required to do certain tasks. Running code in C++ can be more efficient and it can eliminate some of the headroom that exists with Blueprints. C++ is also more powerful than Blueprints is. It's a lower level language, so it gives you more direct access to things that you can do than Blueprints does. So you can step outside of that kind of safety bubble that Blueprints offers and do more things with the engine. However, like Uncle Ben said to Peter Parker, with great power comes great responsibility. So as you have more power to do different things within C++ that you don't have within Blueprints, you also have the potential to cause more issues. So when using C++, you have to be more careful and more accurate about what you're doing. And the C++ that works with Blueprints is not just bare naked C++. The designers for Unreal Engine 4 actually created additional content directly in C++ that we can use that's specialized specifically for Unreal Engine 4. So not only do you have to actually know C++, but you have to actually learn this additional specialized code to use it within Unreal Engine 4. Which is not to say that you can't go without it, but if there's certain things that you wanna do, you're gonna need knowledge of this specialized code. And one great thing about using C++ is it's extremely stable. So when is a good time to use Blueprints and when is a good time to use C++? 
Well, for most of our game making experience, if you're doing it as a hobby, Blueprints is perfectly fine. You're going to be able to do just about everything you need to do in order to actually make a game from within Blueprints. But as you get more advanced into making games, there are points where C++ is going to be particularly advantageous to you. If you want to get into making games professionally, you're going to need programming experience with a language outside of the specialized language of that engine. So it's pretty good to learn C++ or if you're using another game engine, learn programming outside of that game engine as well because that's going to be the industry standard for large scale games. And that leads into larger games. So the more stuff that you actually add to a game, that headroom that I mentioned that's attached to blueprints can really start to add up. So for very large AAA productions, if they made those games in just straight up blueprints, it would be terribly optimized and there would be a ton of extra headroom that would be required to actually run the game and it would require a much more powerful system than what is currently required to run those games. And there's definitely specific instances that we can call upon that make C++ more useful than Blueprints at times. Now, I said that the C++ is more efficient, and in particular where it really shines is with mathematical equations. So, performing any kind of math, C++ has a clear advantage over Blueprints. Also, C++ provides us an advantage when we're doing things frequently. So say for example you have to do something specially for your game where you have to calculate it extremely frequently. Like say you want it to calculate every time a frame is drawn or you want to calculate it 60 times per second. That's where C++ is really going to provide you an advantage. Things that are frequently used will get a performance boost when using C++ versus blueprints. One specific example that you could use is making calculations for firing a weapon, a rapid fire weapon. If you have a weapon that fires three or four times a second or more, and you have to calculate every time it fires where it's firing to and where it impacts, etc., etc., using C++ is a much more efficient way of making those calculations. Now, if you have something that only occurs once per game, or something that occurs very infrequently, you can actually really take it or leave it either way and use C++ or Blueprints. Now, for newer people, they're going to prefer Blueprints a whole lot because it is very visual and because of the safety and the ease of use. For somebody who has done programming outside of Blueprints or a Blueprint type system before and has actually done programming within something like C++ before, they might actually prefer to use the raw language because it's something that they're more comfortable with and it provides them greater power. Now with this video series, I have a couple of goals that I want to achieve. And the first thing I want to do is I want to break down how to go about thinking when making a game. I don't want to just throw together something and say, here guys, here's how you do this specific thing. I want to start off with a goal and I want to break down the process of how I go from an idea of what I want to happen to actually making it happen. There's a lot of things out there with programming and tutorials where they provide you specifics on how to do something, but they don't necessarily provide the thought process behind coming up with how to solve a problem. Secondly, I want to go through the engine's actual functioning and be able to show you guys how it works and why it works. So for this video series, I'm going to go through the process of creating a few games and I'm going to start out with a concept and I'm going to start out with a few goals for that game. And then we're going to break down what we want to achieve, and how we go from point A to point B, and then actually execute on it. And then as the video series matures, 
we're going to add more and more complex ideas. So we can go about actually making a game, and while we're making the game, we can learn about how and why things are done. And the last thing I want to do is I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison and show you guys both the Blueprints method and the C++ method of doing things. And one thing we can do as well is combine Blueprints and C++. In the previous video, I mentioned how we could have Blueprint classes that are children of C++ classes. And what we can actually do is we can mix the power of C++ with Blueprints. Now, a quick note is that not everything is going to be possible or convenient to do in C++, or it might not even be worth the time to actually do it in C++. Likewise, in Blueprints, there's some stuff that we cannot do. So as we travel through making the game, we're going to have to make decisions on whether or not it's even worth our time to actually do C++, or whether it's worth our time to do Blueprints. And the biggest thing I want to achieve out of doing this is a lot of people who are newer to programming are very afraid of programming in a language like C++. And I essentially want to show you guys that it doesn't have to be that scary. It's not necessarily going to be as easy on the uptake as Blueprints. And really, I'm going to provide both options. So if you want to skip out on the C++, you can do that. But I just basically want to highlight the workings of either one and how we can go about accomplishing different goals. So that's going to complete today's video. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can go ahead and leave them down below. You can also head over to my Facebook page and ask me questions over there. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.